Our next speaker is with is Dr. Felicita Felicida Felicida from Philippines. Is Dr. Felicita here? Okay. <laughs> It's really indeed a pleasure for me to be in Thailand, and uh, it's also a pleasure with me to be able to talk with uh, experts on integrative medicine. I was not introduced to this type of practice uh, five years ago. I was a conventional physician. I am a surgeon by profession, and uh, I thought head and neck surgery in one of the big hospital in Cebu City, Philippines. But uh, I was able to learn something out of alternative medicine and homeopathy because of some friends. I was invited to bring five cancer patients at Shangri-La Hotel because uh, one of the doctor from Germany actually will be there and he will be treating for free on the five cancer patients. So I brought with me four cancer patients and one normal patient because I did not believe. So I have to have a gold standard whether this patient, really, uh, this doctor really knew what he was doing. And uh, he was using an, an EEB machine and uh, I was so impressed because my first patient was a palatal carcinoma patient and he told me that your patient must have a malignoma near the teeth area on the right, which was correct. And I said to myself, probably because the patient opened the mouth. And then on the second patient, it was a lung cancer patient, he was able to tell me that that patient had a lung cancer patient just using that EAD machine and he said, your patient probably has bone metastasis, which was also correct. And on the third patient was a colonic cancer patient, and he was able to detect it just using the machine. But on my last patient, he was a very good friend of mine, a Chinese, Mr. Edgar Pu. He had no cancer, but he was diabetic. And he said, your patient has no malignoma, but he must be diabetic because the pancreas... Uh, uh, electrical field is very low. It gives me something. And I was thinking, this might be something to investigate. So for six months, I investigated on that. And uh, I, I actually did some researches. I used some medicines on homeopathy. And some of my patients improved. And until now, I am hooked with alternative medicine. And I was trying to really integrate my practice with conventional with the unorthodox medicine. So I would like to present to you a case. First slide, please. First slide. Please go back to the first slide. Transient as a supplementary of radiotherapy. I was introduced to Chenshan by just merely the book. So when I went to National Bookstore, I was able to see Chan Chan as a treatment for cancer, and I flipped on the pages of that book, and uh, I was reading on it, and at the last page, there was that particular passage which, how can you be saved? And since I, was, I am a Christian, I actually read on it, I, I read the last page, and then I read the whole book. It gave me some idea who really is actually giving Chan Shan. So, I was using the Chan Shan in, for two years now. Two years. And I have several cases wherein I have records of those patients, which probably I will collect in one particular research. But this particular uh, case, I, I actually selected because it is a part of my specialty, which is 
her nose and throat had a neck surgery. And so I would like to present to you Chan Shan as a supplementary therapy of radiotherapy. Next slide, please. This is a case of an 84-year-old woman with squamous cell carcinoma on the left nostril. Treated with Chan Shan liquid, Chan Shan capsule number three, and radiotherapy. There was a rapid regression of the mass size with no apparent side effects of radiotherapy noted in this patient. The, the thing that interested me is why was there no side effects of radiotherapy in this patient? Next slide. Now, the use of radiotherapy in the treatment of malignant lesion is usually accompanied with several side effects like erythema, dryness, mild discrimination of the skin, serous otitis media, mucositis, and odinophagia. Now, acute side effects of radiotherapy become manifest by the second to third week of treatment and resolves within four to six weeks after completing radiotherapy. Okay? So, radiotherapy effect on the lesion is oftentimes not dramatic, especially if the lesion is big. Therefore, it is usually indicated after surgery. In our case, in head and neck surgery, in otolaryngology, we, we usually do operation first, and then we usually refer the patient for radiotherapy. Now, radiotherapy involves the use of various forms of ionizing radiation to treat benign or malignant lesions. Ionizing radiation causes damage to the DNA and the target cells through complicated series of atomic interactions. Now, following radiotherapy, next slide, damaged cells undergo mitotic death in both abnormal and normal cells, and thus it causes side effects and complications. Now, this case is reported to show the possibility of increasing the effect of radiotherapy without the usual complications noted. Next slide. Next slide, please. Okay. This is an 84-year-old woman who sought consultation because of nasal obstruction and epistaxis lip nostril, one month PTC. This is the woman, and you will notice that that is the mass on the lip nostril. Okay. Next slide. I did an entire anterior rhinoscopy, and it shows a polypoid ulcerated mass, lip nostril, attached to the ethmoid area. Next slide. The X-ray of the paranasal sinuses should hastiness lip maxillary and ethmoid sinuses without bone destruction. Next slide, please. This is the X-ray. You will notice that this is the mass. And actually, it uh, extended into the maxillary sinus already. There is hastiness of the maxillary sinus. Next slide. So, we did a punch biopsy on this patient. And the histopathology report showed squamous cell carcinoma moderately differentiated. The patient was prepared for surgery, but CP clearance was not granted. So, I referred the patient to Tan Kim Ching uh, Radiotherapy Clinic, and radiotherapy was started daily. Chen Shan capsule number three, two capsules three times a day, was started. And I actually allowed the patient to visit me uh, two times a week so that I may be able to review the side effects of radiotherapy plus, of course, the effects of Chen Shan. Okay? Regression of the mass size was noted two weeks after radiotherapy with no apparent side effects. Next slide. On the third week, the mass was gone. This is now the patient after the third week. Next slide. On the fourth week, radiotherapy was finished without any side effects. I would like to attempt to discuss the effect of Chan Shan to radiotherapy because if I see the literature of Chan Shan, there seems to be no explanation how it affected the body as far as cancer is concerned. So it is uncommon to have no side effects using radiotherapy. But the combination of Chan Shen and radiotherapy in this 84-year-old woman showed a dramatic reg regression of the mass with no apparent side effects. Is this a coincidence? 
or is it because chanshan has a supplementary effect to radiotherapy? Now, the anti-carcinogenic substance of chanshan, as far as I am concerned, is still unknown. However, in 1968, from my research, results of animal experiments showed that water extract prepared from the fruiting bodies of edible fungi and some plants have anti-tumor effects. Now, the plant families involved here are Polyporacea, Pilinosea, and Campanulacea. Next slide. Now, Campanulacea family is a relative of Radix, which is one of the components of Chanshan capsule number three, which was, which was also the capsule that I was giving to my patient. Now, the study actually showed, this is not clear because I took this from the journal, that the chemical structure on the Campanulacea plant is an anti-tumor anti active substance, BD-glucans. BD-glucans, and this is a polysaccharide from D-glucose through active acid hydrolysis. Next slide. Now, Whistler et al. showed that the anti-carcinogenic mechanism of BD-glucans are just like an immunomodulators that activate the specific immunological functions in the patients. I think, I think that the next speaker will be talking about cytokines and how it affects uh, the, the tumor cells, especially when chanshan is given to the patient. Next slide, please. Now, this I got from the chanshan literature. I'm sorry that it was underexposed. But the analysis of the composition of amino acids for China number one, natural nutritious liquid, and it showed that it has a lot of amino acids. It says there that, next slide, that Chanshan contains ginseng soap and other elements, amino acids, several kinds of essential elements like germanium, selenium, zinc, and manganese. And all this can stimulate the anti-carcinogenic function of phagocytes. Then, composition of selenium in the chanshan liquid is 500 times more effective for antioxidation than vitamin E and can promote rapid absorption and utilization of vitamin A, C, E, and K. This is something very important as far as I am concerned because I believe that chanshan, therefore, promotes optimal collagen production because of the rapid absorption and utilization of vitamin C, which is an important nutrient in collagen formation. You know, collagen formation is very important, especially when you are trying to control cancer. Optimal production of collagen molecule is the precondition for control of aggressive disease like cancer. The other substances or nutrients required for collagen production are lysine, and proline. And these are amino acids also that are present in adequate amount in Chan Shan. Next slide. Next slide, please. Next slide. Okay. Now, this research I was able to get from the Journal of American Medical Association, July 11, 1977. It presented spectacular successes in the treatment of ovarian tumor using the enzyme blocking therapy. You talk about enzyme blocking therapy, Dr. Abe from Japan was actually talking how cancer cells will get out from, uh, from one area because uh, collagen digesting enzyme will digest that area and as a result, the cancer cells will metastasize. Now, if you try to block that collagen enzyme or collagen digesting enzyme, you will be able to treat cancer. Now, in this particular research, the patients were treated with tranexamic acid. Tranexamic acid is a synthetic derivative of natural amino acid lysine. Now, the effect of tranexamic acid will just merely be the same if you will use lysine at a high dose. And there will be no side effects if you will be using lysine instead of tranexamic acid. Now, how does lysine affect? Next slide, please. Now, lysine 
blocks the anchor sites in the connective tissue that collagen digesting enzyme used to attach to, thus preventing the disintegration of connective tissue. Now, if the connective tissue disintegrates due to the activation of collagen mechanism, this leads to the development of aggressive diseases like cancer and microbial infection. Lysine stops the process. Next slide. Lysine is also the precursor of carnitine, which is important for energy metabolism. You know, carnitine improves supply of bioenergy for the mitochondria of the millions of cells in the body. Now, the ionizing radiation of radiotherapy causes damage to the DNA of the cancer cells. So, when you use radiotherapy, it damages the cancer cells. Now, Chan Shan, on the other hand, through the anti-carcinogenic effect of BD glucans, activate the immunologic function in the patient. So, these are synergy. Altogether, Chan Shan plus radiotherapy, which was explained by Dr. Abi on his lecture. Now, cancer cells or cancer cell spread is also prevented because the anchor sites in the connective tissue that collagen digesting enzyme used to attach are blocked by lysine, thus preventing disintegration. Please, next slide, please. Okay? Now, lysine, vitamin C, proline, promote optimal production of collagen molecules, which is important in the country cancer control. Next slide. Now, I said that radiotherapy plus chanchan effects causes the rapid regression of the tumor. Next slide. Lysine, which is the basic building block of carnitine, causes an increase in energy metabolism, resulting to rapid repair of normal cells. Because if you do not have carnitine, there is no rapid uh, repair of normal cells because the energy is low, preventing the side effects of radiotherapy. Now, in summary, the effects of radiotherapy in the cancer treatment is complemented by chanshan in the following areas. Number one, chanshan has an anti-carcinogenic property. Its effect is just like an immunomodulator that activates a specific immunological function in the patient. Chanshan prevents disintegration of connective tissue, thus preventing the spread of tumor. Chanshan promotes optimal production of collagen molecules, which is a precondition for the control of cancer. Chanshan improves energy metabolism, causing rapid repair of normal cells, preventing side effects of radiotherapy. Other Chanshan effects are still to be investigated, and more researches should be done. I believe that if we would like to progress in integrating alternative medicine with conventional medicine, we should be able to explain how a substance really affects the body. And with that, I believe that the Piada Corporation will be able to make a lot of researches as far as Chanshan is concerned for the benefit of the patients and also to be able to allow the doctors to believe in it and to be able that the doctors will be able to say to their patient that this particular chanchan has really an effect to the patient. But as, as, as far as I'm concerned with the lot of patients that I was giving, most of my patients improved. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Felicidad.